dexamethasone, remember when we talked cortisone, we're talking with this zone suffix. We're talking about corticosteroids, okay? Trade name for dexamethasone is decadron. This is a medication that we gave a lot in the neural ICU because one of the indications for it is the management of cerebral edema. So we've talked corticosteroids before. Remember, these steroids can suppress inflammation and they also suppress the normal immune response. They're used in inflammatory states to de decrease the swelling and this inflammation. And like I talked about uh, in the indication, one of the things that it can be given for is to assess for Cushing's disease. So what's actually done is called a dexamethasone suppression test. And what's done is a certain amount of dexamethasone is injected into the patient. And then what's done is you see how cortisol levels respond. And this allows the physician to assess for Cushing's disease, okay? Depending on how cortisol levels respond within the body, this natural hormone, how it responds to an injection of dexamethasone can help them determine um, if the patient actually has Cushing's disease. So therapeutic class is anti-asthmatic and corticosteroid. Pharmacologic class is corticosteroid. Now, as we've talked about with all of these corticosteroids, there are certain things you just have to keep your eye out for. One of the things that can cause this Cushingoid appearance, the buffalo hump, the moon face, it can cause weight gain, osteoporosis. It can decrease wound healing. It can decrease uh, our... Uh, immune response. So we want to be very careful in patients who already have uh, untreated active infections. Okay. If they have this, this active infection, we want to be very careful because it can decrease it's a, the body's ability to heal from that infection. It can cause weight gain. Uh, and we want to monitor liver profiles and it can also increase cholesterol and lipid levels. So you really want to kind of get a, get a base uh, lipid profile on your patient if they're going to be taking this medication for a long time and just kind of monitor lipid profile as the patient is taking this medication. Again, it can elevate blood sugar levels. We talked about this a lot. Uh, you're going to see your patient's blood sugar spike over 300, over 400 as you're giving this medication in a patient who's non-diabetic. And you have the, the family there, right? The patient's family will be there. And one thing that families always love to know is they love to know blood glucose levels uh, as you take the patient's blood sugars every few hours. So what will happen is you'll take the blood sugar and the patient's blood sugars come back at 320 and the family gets all excited and they're like, but they're not diabetic. They're not diabetic. What's going on? And you just have, just have to really explain to them. You know, what I do is I don't just throw some simple answer out there. I kind of really explain to them, uh, you know, what happens is, is it, you know, it's, it's one of these steroids it's produced by the adrenal glands and what these steroids can do is they actually increase blood sugar levels the patients also under a lot of stress that's going to increase cortisol levels and these cortisol levels are going to uh, elevate blood sugars this decadron is a synthetic hormone and so you really just kind of explain to the family what's going on and why the blood sugars are elevated so that they don't freak out think the patient now has diabetes that we're mismanaging them etc and you just kind of let them know. Take their blood sugars, manage them as you need to as you go. Okay, so that is really uh, what you need to know about dexamethasone. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG. To keep the learning going, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST. MedMaster Course is the ultimate guide to nursing pharmacology with over 30 hours of video and audio lecture material. Never guess a med again, crush the NCLEX, and have confidence in your nursing pharmacology skills. Head over to medmastercourse.com, use the coupon code PODCAST. We'll see you on the inside.